Hey guys, so today we're gonna look at a razor I have had for quite some time actually, uh, but I never took the time to 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 hone it. So that's a gold razor. It's a Chinese razor that you can find on the on the very obvious uh, Chinese marketplace. Uh, it's a five eight, made in China. You get them usually for 10, 15 bucks, so quite cheap. Um, to me, it looks like uh, they're probably made in the same factory as the gold dollars, but can't be sure of this one. I like the design of it. It's looking good, uh, kind of a fake wood uh, polish scales. I uh, really like it. Now, the question is, how's the quality of steel there? So let's see in a sec. So here we can see the uh, stock, uh, the original uh, edge, if I can call it an edge. Um, well, it's not too bad. I mean, it's been done by a machine, uh, but yeah, it's there is like big dents in it. Obviously, definitely not shave ready. So we're gonna start recreating the bevel with a diamond stone. This is an Atoma 600 and see how is this steel. Uh, I'm always protecting the spine with a protective tape. So here we go. We're gonna start back the usual back and forward. At least the blade doesn't seem to be warped which is good. I don't have much expectation to be honest for a 10 box uh, razor, but let's see, sometimes, sometimes we can be surprised positively by the gold dollars. Only sometimes. And we're gonna end up by the x -trucks. So here is the new bevel. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad neither. Yeah, it should do. And we're gonna then move to the next stone, which is the uh, Naniva 1K. It's a 1K grit. It produces very thick, uh, slimy slurry. I, I like it very much after the, uh, the Atoma. So again, back and forward with this one, we're using the slurry produce on it. And it's a very fast tone. All right. It's not going too bad at least so far. Let's have a look, let's try the blade and have a look under the microscope. All right, so now it's looking much better. As you can see, we've got a nicely balanced flat uh, edge. It's not, it's not perfect, perfect, but it's not too bad either. So I will pass this step, but I use then uh, the Shapton 5K, which is a fantastic stone to use, to be honest. Uh, and then after the 5K, uh, I will use the usual JNAT Nakayama LV5++, so an extremely hard stone. It's a good Japanese, natural Japanese stone as a finishing stone. And I will use slurry stones on it. So I'm starting by the Asano Nagora uh, Tenju, which is a 7 to 8K uh, grit. Create a nice slurry on it. Bring it to towards us. And at this stage, it's only X strokes. We don't need too much pressure. 
uh, just enough to keep the blade nicely flat on the stone. All right, we're there, we're gonna dry the blade and have a look. So now it's starting to look quite good. You can see the, the magic of the Japanese stone. Yeah, looking good. All right, then I used the uh, other solar stone, the Asano Nagua uh, Mejiro, which is uh, 8, 9K grit. Then I used an Asano Nagua Koma, which is a 12K mm -hmm. plus uh, grit, very hard stone. Always be careful when you're using this one to not put any pressure on your base stone to avoid uh, scratching it. And then finally, uh, the final stone will be uh, the uh, Tomonagua. This one is a Nakayama uh, Asaki. So we're at around uh, 15k grade. We don't need a thick slurry, like a very light one here is enough. And we will only need a few laps, no pressure, just the weight of the blade itself is enough. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's have a look at our final edge. Well, look for a 10 buck, uh, 10 bucks razor. It's not bad. It's not, it's not the best edge, obviously, but it's not bad at all. All right, so look. Again, I find that for the price, it's a very nice looking razor with nice etching on it. Uh, I like the imitation, uh, the wood imitation scales, very nice. And the next step, as usual, uh, will be to give it to the strop. Uh, so I will use a Kanayama 60,000. Uh, I will do 150, 200 uh, laps on it. And we will do the usual uh, hanging hair test. So it's obviously cutting the hair, but it's not the best hanging hair test I had, to be honest. It's working, it's cutting it, but uh, it's not the best. So the best way to know if the blade is good now, if the edge is good, will be to shave. And for this, I will show you a quick session. All right, so here I have to say, I was extremely positively surprised about the result. It shaved and it shaved extremely well. Like very close shave, very smooth. I was generally very surprised. Come on. Now, what do I say? Is it a bargain to buy this razor? Well, unfortunately, no. Let me explain. The second shave was absolutely awful. I couldn't even finish the first la uh, pass. I checked under the microscope and the edge was having a lot of dents. So what I did is I put the razor under the stones again, recreate the bevel, put all the steps. What happened? I had an amazing shave. Second shave, again, Terrible shave. What it means? It means the quality of steel used is very poor, unfortunately. That's a shame because I had a really good hope after the first shave, but there is definitely an issue with the steel. Have you experienced such issue with your razor? I have in the past. Uh, I had a Titan razor that was exactly the same issue. Let me know if you've, if you've had this. I'd be interested to know. Until then, Hope you liked the video and hope to talk to you soon. Bye guys.